Hi, I'm Noelle Hyman with Paperclipping.com. This is Donna Salazar. Hi. We're at the Spellbinders booth because Donna has designed some really awesome like die cuts and embossing things. Mixed media stuff. Okay, here's an example of a project and she's gonna show you how to make some of these. These are the Bitty Blossoms here, these gorgeous roses and flowers, and then these awesome words that look like they've been run through a label maker, yes. basically. Yes. Okay, so let's see how this works. Okay, so if you're going to use the, um, the Girly Grunge labels, there's a couple different ways that you can do it. Um, you can make them so that the letters are a negative, or you can make them um, so that the letters or the image in the middle is positive. Okay, and I'm gonna show you both because I'm gonna do exactly this right here. So I'm using uh, paper from my new mixed media stacks and it is compatible with the Spellbinders because it fits perfectly onto the Spellbinders cut plate. And there are four different mediums in there. I'm gonna use the manila paper, no I'm not, I'm using the watercolor paper. <laughs> okay, and so what I'll do is um, I'm going to wet the paper because that's going to help when we do the embossing. Then it makes it less steps to do later. Okay, so I'm just going to place the flower down. I'm not going to do anything to the heart die. And I'm going to ink up the I and the U with my black mixed media inks. And the reason why you want to use, you want to use something like the mixed media inks, it needs to be a pigment ink, something very juicy with lots and lots of color to do what I'm doing right now, which is called letterpress. Are these inks new or have you had these out for a while? Um, there's, there's um, eight new colors, oh. but um, I did have eight colors at the summer show. Okay. Okay, so. So I'm inking right onto the die. And you can get them really, really juicy to get that really clean look, but I'm actually leaving a little bit of space so it'll look kind of a little grungy. Oh, I like that. All right, and then I'm gonna just run this through the machine. So I have the cut plate on the bottom. Um, you don't have to, have the the plates where the some people put the base on the bottom and then the cut plate on top but I like to see what I'm cutting so as long as they're on opposite sides that's all that matters okay so I've got my cut plate on the bottom base plate on top and I'm gonna run it through the grand caliber there she goes and the reason why this spins so much, it's kind of like a 10-speed bike. You know, when it's really easy, the, the pedal goes a lot. So if you, um, if they made it so it was fewer turns, it would be hard to crank it. All right, so more turns makes it easy. Yes, exactly. My words are just not coming easy. No, they are. Today. They're good. <laughs> okay, so I am taking these off. Your words came out great, I can see them. And then I am going to hold the... So the die is still in here. This is the one that I didn't ink yeah. first. So now I'm gonna keep it in there and I'm just gonna ink through, so I'm stenciling right oh, into it. Oh, okay. And because I don't want this to smear and get yucky, I'm going to put some embossing powder. And yes, this does get your dyes all icky but it comes right off with baby wipes, so <laughs> okay. not a big deal. So then I pop it out, and now we'll heat set that. So is that a clear or a white? It's embossing? clear. It's yeah, clear, it's okay. Yeah. All right, and then we will um, run these through. Now I could have run this through the embossing as well, and I'm not gonna emboss this one either, but look at how easy that was. Did you see that? Yeah. It, it just, just pulls right, right out. And then when you pop the flower out, it just pulls right out. And then when you make the flower, it's super duper easy too. Okay, so now I'm gonna keep the base plate and I am going to put the piece that I die cut right on top of it. So it's still sitting in the little It's still die. inside the die. And I stick it on there. Then you put the tan embossing pad and the pink embossing plate and you're gonna run it through again, 
Okay, so now this is embossed. Okay, look at that, yeah. So you can see how raised up it is? So that's the lighter color on the paper and then the ink. Right. Yeah, and it is, it's raised. Those are so cool, I love those Thank words. Thank you. I was so excited when I saw them. And then, um, I don't know what I did with the heart. The little heart is under here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, time for embossing. This is like watching grass grow, but <laughs> but it's a little teeny tiny, so it shouldn't take long. Can you see that? Not really. Okay, she's holding it with I'll a hold stylus it so that I don't burn myself. All right, I can see it's starting to change now. That wasn't too painful. Oh, now you can see it, right? The vibrant heart. That's yeah. pretty. Okay, so what I did is this is a different die that I have. It's um, from my mixed media elements set, and I did the same thing. It's just for ATC cards, but this is only two by three because it's meant to be the center of an ATC because ATCs are two and a half by three and a half. So I have the center of the ATC, and then this is my uh, denim ATCs from Want to Scrap, and those are two and a half by three and a half. Okay. So this goes right in the center. And it's already got the adhesive. It's adhesive. Yeah. Stack. Oh, yeah. That's part of that's the mixed media stack. Okay. So there's a craft label in there. Oh, nice. So then we can just put these on here. If I knew where my glue was. Okay, I'll tell you what it's gonna look like. Yeah. <laughs> that's good. So this will go here, and then to make this, we're going to grab my little foamy thing, which. Is it the embossing? No, it's a little bowl. Looking for one thing. Right. <laughs> I want, while you're looking, I'm going to show. You found it? Oh, okay. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. <laughs> okay. So this is just the foam from some brads that I have. So what I do on um, the flowers is, it doesn't really matter which side you use, but um, I'm just going to take the first two petals and I'm going to press, this is a, a stylus from 10 Second Studio, so I just press it, the first two going towards the top, then I flip it over and everything else goes to the back. And what I love about this flower is how flippin' easy they are to make. They pretty much make themselves. You just do all of them all I the way around? I just do all of them all the way around. Okay, so now I go back to this front, the first ones that I did, and I just start rolling. And I don't even look at what I'm doing. I just <laughs> roll it. So super duper fast. Okay, I see my glue now. All right, then once I get it to here, then I set it down and I let it go. And then I just add some glue to the middle. You're just pouring it right into the center there? Um, no, I'll just I'll lift it up and put oh, it right here. On the bottom. Yeah, there's a circle okay. right there for it. And then just glue that down. Oops, oops, oops. Stay, stay. Come on, I'm supposed to be a professional. No, it takes time. It's a, but we get the idea. Yeah. So. And then there's also leaves that come in this set as well. And then there's a couple different sizes. This is the larger of the Bitty Blossoms, and then there's two smaller sizes from this. So that's okay. why they're called Bitty. So we use the Bitty Blossoms. We used the Girly, Girly Grunge, Grunge labels. labels. And this is mixed media elements, but it's it was just the one piece from there. But this actually is from elements as well. So there's a bird, wings, a crown, a branch, the banner. Ah, okay, and that comes in this, and then we used your mixed media ink, right. from Don, all from Donna Salazar, and it's a spell binders. Yeah, well the inks are clear snap, and okay. the papers are GCD. Okay, <laughs> very good. Thanks so much, Donna. Sure. You can find more videos like this at paperclipping.com. I'm Noelle Hyman.